In NHD Web Central, there are a variety of features, and you can see those in the other videos that we have that go over the building blocks of building a website. So adding sections, titles, subtitles, headers, navigation, primary and secondary source quotes, all this sort of stuff over here in the building blocks section that you can drag and drop onto your page to build your website page. Beyond those resources, if you are a more advanced user, there are several things that you can do to format your website a little bit differently. These are not required. These are totally optional. In this video, we'll just kind of go over what they are, and then you can decide if you're interested in using these, the best way to use those on your site. These are, again, not required, but just different ways to, to add some different styling to your site. So to get to these more advanced features, um, if you click on one of your items, so this text box or your picture or something like that, whenever you click on something, you get this menu that appears here. And typically what we would do is go into font. If we wanted to play around with the font, we could change the font um, to something else. We could change the font size. We could change the weight of it. So you could make it thin, regular, bold, all these sort of options. Um, and then letter spacing, you can play around with the spacing between the letters. You can play around with the color of the font, the height of your font, and how it is um, aligned on your page. And then finally, you can add um, text decoration. So that means, do you want it to be underlined? Do you want to strike through? Do you want nothing? And do you want to add a shadow? So if you want to make a, um, a drop shadow or some different type of shadow to your text, you can play around with this here. So you can choose the position, that's the X and Y, play around, put numbers in there, kind of see what you're looking for. Um, if you want to, the, the shadow to be blurred, you can play around with um, putting numbers in here and just seeing how that looks. And then the color of your shadow, do you want it to be black? Do you want it to be a different color? So these are all just formatting options that are not required, but just add a little um, more design elements to your page. So that's typically where most students are going into that font section and playing around with the font size, all that sort of thing. Now, we in an earlier video, we talk about this icon, which opens up the site theme manager. And this is where you can set the theme, like your font, font color, your background menu, all those different colors across your pages. However, if there's an individual page you want to be a little bit different, or if your home page you want your title to be a different color, you can break from this preset font by clicking on what you'd like to change and using this font menu here. But in addition to the font, there are other options here too. And these are, again, something that's nice to have, but you don't need to have these. These are just additional design features. So we have a general drop down menu, we have a dimension drop down menu, decorations, extra, and flex. These show differently depending on what you're working with. So right now I'm working with the text box. If I were to click this, I might have some extra options under here. Um, so it just depends on the element, what you can edit in a variety of different ways. So we'll start with general and just kind of walk through what that one is. Dimension, decorations, extra, and flex. We already talked about font, so we're going to skip that one. So general, this kind of helps you with the general display of your page. So as the full, the full page. So do you want um, your display to be um, block, inline, inline block, flex, or none? The position of your page, the margin at the top, the right, the left, the bottom, and then the alignment of particular items on your page. So this all depends on the element. So for this, if I click it, nothing's really happening. Um, but if I were to click this, I'm able to move it um, with the alignment tool. So some of these features work differently or work versus not work, depending on the element that you'd like to edit. So you can come in here and kind of play around um, with various elements to kind of see, okay, does this work for what I already have on the page? Um, what am I trying to do? that sort of thing. So as you click on things, you can come into this general setting and all these settings over here to see what this opens up for you to try to use. Then we go down to dimension. So this helps with the dimensions of this container on your page. 
and the elements within your container. So you can play around with the width of elements, the height, the max width, the minimum height. You can play around with your margins. You can play around with the padding. So this is useful if you want your page to have a particular look beyond dragging and dropping and um, centering various items on your page. If you want to do um, words in front of text or um, words in front of an image, you can play around with the padding. If you want um, your margins to be a little bit different than these standard margins that we have here, like the left, center, right. You can play around those here. By play around, I just mean like add in some numbers and kind of see what you what it looks like and if it's something that you're interested in in adding to your page. So we do have all of these um, ways you can play around with the formatting a bit more and get more technical with that. Padding. This is what will kind of pad your for this uh, this is just a text box so it's adding text there um, and then you could um, if we wanted to add 0 45 and you could kind of add your add some padding to your pictures as well and you can see it's added some so this is just ways to um, manipulate some of the elements on your page a little bit differently if you're looking for a particular look um, so that plays around with the dimensions on your page. I am going to just keep undoing so I can go back to how it originally was. There's a redo button too if you want to redo. All right, then we come down to decorations. So the opacity of elements, background colors, your borders, border, um, if you want a particular border color, a shadow, a background. So again, in the site theme manager, you can set all of this. But if there's one page that you'd like to look a little bit different, or if you'd like every page to look different, that's when you would come into this back um, decoration section and you could play around with the opacity of various elements. You could play around with the background color. So do I want this text box to have a certain color background? Do I want it to have um, a border on my background? Um, what do I want the border width to be? What do I want the border style to be? So you can add various borders, border color. Okay, do I what color do I want my border to be? Maybe I want it to be white. Do I want the box to have a shadow? Again, like we saw with the text shadow, you can add a shadow here. It could be a drop shadow. It could be outside. It could be inside. So these are just things that you just kind of need to play around with on your site to see, hmm, is this something that I would like to have? Um, something I'm trying to figure out how to do. That's what you can use these extra tools over here um, for. I'm just gonna close out of these. And so we talked about the background color, opacity, the border, the shadow. And then if you want a particular background on a certain page that's not set across all the pages, this is where you can come in and add an image or add a color um, for one of your backgrounds. So say I want my background to be, let's see, this picture. Okay, then I want it to, uh, do I want it to repeat or do I want it to not repeat? Do I want it to be center, top, bottom? How do I want it to be? Do I want it to cover the entire background? Do I want it to be contained within the page, um, within the container section? Do I want it to just be automatic depending on the size of the image? Do I want it to scroll as I scroll down the page of my website? Do I want it to be fixed? So these are just some various options you can play around with if you're adding an image to a background of a particular page. But again, you can go into the site theme manager and make a background image across all pages. But if you want to do individual pages, with individual backgrounds, that's how you would go about doing it. I am not saving my changes here, so I'm just going to close that out, but just kind of showing you what you can do there. So that's the decorations is more of like the page decorations, the different element decorations. Then we have extra and we have flex. So extra is something you may or may not need to use. Um, transition is, do you want a transition between um, pages, page elements? So for example, I'm going to 
I'm clicking on this text box and I come in here into transition. So I want to transition. Do I want to transition the height of the um, box? Do I want to transition the background color? If there's a shadow, do I want to transition the shadow? I'm going to click background color for a second. I want this duration to be three uh, seconds and I want it to ease in. Okay, so when I click save and I view the website, see what it did there? So that will allow you to add some transitions as people transition to that page of your site. What cool feature are you going to add in? So you can um, play around with the background color or the various elements in here, depending on how your site is organized and what you would like to do. Just kind of play around with these features to see how you can best use that. But it kind of, as people click on your pages, it will show you some sort of um, animation type thing. Um, and it will only do it once because it's a transitional element. Then we have perspective. So this kind of skews the perspective of like your, let's see if it works for this one. Mm, maybe for this. No, it's not really anything that elements on my page currently need. Um, so it's not really doing anything in this case, but perhaps you have um, an element on your page that's not a text box or an image that this, this element would do. Um, transform will allow you to transform a certain element, aka rotate it. So do you want this to be rotated, smushed, <laughs> um, that sort of thing? So this just kind of lets you like play around with formatting images kind of in an interesting way. Don't know how necessarily useful that might be, but if you have an element that you'd like to move around, transform in that way, I would definitely try try these features out um, just to kind of get an idea of what you can do there. So that is our, our extra section. So our extra section allows us to add transitions um, for certain elements once you transition to that page of the site. It allows us to update the perspective and the transform of certain elements. But again, some elements work for like picture images, but not text boxes. So you can kind of play around with these depending on what's on your site to get an idea of what you can do, um, how to best use these elements if you're interested in using them. And then finally, this flex section plays all around with the alignment of elements on your page. So for example, there's a lot more elements um, for an image. So do I want, how do I want my um, text down here and my image to align? Do I want it to be next to each other? Do I want it to be like this on top, on the bottom? So you can kind of play around with um, those elements, but again, it kind of depends on what's in this box, how that'll work. So if you only have one thing in your box, you're not really going to have the same features because you can't really align much because your text is already aligned in the box. But if you have a few different elements within a section, you can play around with the direction, the justification, the alignment, um, play around with all of these features down here. But that's what this section will allow you to do, be a flexible in the layout. So if you just have one thing in a container or one thing in a section, like this is just a text box, I don't have anything else in here besides text. I can't really use this as much, but if I have something like this, or I have multiple elements in here, then I get more options to play around with the flexibility of what goes where within that section. If you want to play around with this, I would recommend using something like um, section and text. This is a section that will kind of allow you to play around with, you know, what's on top, what's next to each other, that sort of thing. You could also try it out with the image and source credit like I have here. That's what this picture is in this text, and it allows me to kind of play around with the flexible options. Um, so if you just have a text box or you just have one thing in a box, you can't really do much with the flex option. But the more elements you have in a particular uh, section or in a box, uh, the more you can play around with the flexibility features there. So that's just a quick walkthrough of all of these more advanced settings under general, font, dimension, decorations, extra, and flex. Again, this is up to your site how it best will play out. So I definitely recommend just kind of playing around, seeing what you can do there. Um, and just seeing what works best for your site and the elements that you have on your page. But that's just a quick walkthrough of what you can do there. And I encourage you to go ahead and play around with those to see what you can do on your site, what cool things you can come up with there.